all say we're very excited to be here this morning. Thank you for allowing us to come down and share this event with you all. Um, who are we? We are the children of Marion Martinez, and the fa friends and family of Marion as well are here. Um, I want to quickly identify my siblings. My siblings are Carol Cruz, Roberta Martinez Wilkie, uh, Marty Martinez, Jerry Martinez, and my brother's not here today, but uh, he supports us wholeheartedly. He just hurt his ankle, and I am here as well, Bob Martinez. Now, who was Marion Martinez? Mary Martinez was a community activist here locally that had an insatiable appetite for volunteerism. And that insatiable appetite for volunteerism also extended to anybody she could make eye contact with. <laughs> Marion would get people involved to, to support the various causes and activities that she felt dear to her heart and would benefit the Vermont community as well as our young people. Some of the things that Marion had done um, to uh, support the causes and events in the local area at, uh, were, were very national in prominence and large in scale. As an example, with the American GI Forum in the United States, Marion brought in, in 1989, the National Convention for that organization. And she was able to bring in a couple of prominent uh, presidential cabinet members, Elizabeth Dole and Jack Kemp. Now when you think about that, it's like, wow, she brought in some presidential cabinet members. Yeah, Marion did operate on a very national scale at times. However, most of her efforts were spent at the grassroots level. She, Marion was uh, the type of person that uh, would take her youth organization to the veterans homes and distribute blankets that they made or candy and treats and overall just have the young people spend time with the veterans that served our country in past years. And Marion spent countless times with the veterans, not only the veterans homes, but also working on causes and efforts that were dear to her heart. Dear, something that the veterans may have needed like bilingual testing applications. Um, some of the other type of things that Marion did on more of the grassroots level would be like the Halloween parties at the uh, Christ Child Center. Uh, Marion would sponsor the Halloween parties and she would also do things um, like the scholarship fundraisers. Marion had done scholarship fundraisers for a long time to raise money to, to uh, give uh, the young people in our community an opportunity to go to college and pay for college. Uh, Marion would do that by um, rallying all the volunteers, all the people she made eye contact with, and anybody she could find, co-workers, strangers, families, everybody, some of the people that are here today. Um, and Mary and her team would make enchiladas. And I'm talking about thousands of enchiladas. And I don't know if anybody's ever made an enchilada, but thousands of enchiladas? Yes. Um, I think the last one she did last year, I think they made 250 dozen enchiladas. And for those math majors out there, it's 3,000. It's a lot of enchiladas. Um, my mom was an amazing woman, and I think Marty, he gave me three to five minutes, and I think I'm up. So, thank you for allowing us to be here. I'm going to give that to Marty so that Marty can do the award announcement for the first uh, inaugural Mary Martinez Scholarship. 